the first thing you're going to have to do is if you have an AMS unit, you have to take the uh, Bowden tube off of this. So you take that off and what you can do is put this small Bowden in here. Okay, that's in. If, you're, if you don't have an AMS, it'll already be like this. If you do, you just take this off and put the put that back in. Then you'll want to get your TPU. I'm using uh, Overture TPU. You're going to have to put this on the spool holder. It'll fit perfectly and it'll rotate as needed. I have some desiccant. We'll take that off. You're going to have to then put this in here into the Bowden feeder all the way into the extruder all the way until you feel a grip as soon as you feel a grip you can stop putting it in right there once it's in you go to the front I'll switch right now once you have your TPU in the extruder you can go to your home screen obviously you have the first one We'll go down one, right, down four, all the way to feeding. You'll click this, you'll click load with the OK button. It's gonna do its process after a minute or two. It'll say done and retry. If you have to retry, just click it. It'll just extrude more. Uh, once you're done, click done, and it'll start purging a lot of filament, making sure its TPU is equipped. Then we'll have to go to Bamboo Studio and I'll show you guys uh, what you'll need to do in the settings to start printing TPU. In the slicer, you'll go to device. And this is using the external spool. So in the external spool category, it'll be empty unless you've been using it previously. You'll edit it. You'll change it to generic TPU or whatever you're using. Since I'm using Overture, I'll just use generic TPU. You'll change it to whatever color you're using. And then you can leave the rest, confirm. Once you've confirmed that, you can do whatever part you're using. I'm just using the simple test. You're going to add uh, a filament. And then you're going to select the external generic TPU. And once that is installed, you can use this. And then you can click the number it is on your numpad or your above numbers, or you can just right click, change filament and three. So what I like to do is just use the numbers on my keyboard. So one would go to Bamboo PLA basic, white, two would go to yellow. If I click three, it'll go to TPU. So now that it's on TPU, the settings are as is. These are my settings. The max volumetric speed will limit your speed in this Anyways, you don't have to change any of these default settings. This has this is my preset, but it's pretty much the same as the Bamboo Lab default 0.2. Don't change any of the speeds for this unless you're experiencing unusual results. The cooling is as is. It works for me. I've done many test prints and it's worked perfectly. Once you've used TPU for this and selected it for your part, you're ready to slice it. Again, you can make sure it's filament 3, 3 is generic TPU. Once you're ready to print, if you have an AMS unit, it, it's a little different. If you have an AMS, make sure to turn this off because you're not using it. Turn this off. If you don't have an AMS, no problem. You just select. It won't be there. It'll just be external spool anyways. So check that off and you can send it. Once you send it, obviously it'll do its job and it'll print and then happy printing from there. Once, if you're new, consider subscribing. If you have questions, comment them, comment them down below and I'll try my best to research and answer those questions to the best of my ability.